Hey everyone, so this is going to be the compilation video of um, PP, SS, PP, the, all the different uh, PSP games. A few people uh, had said that God of War, uh, well, a person had commented that God of War was uh, the real benchmark for um, this emulator, where it's going to be the most stressful. Um, oopsie doodle. Uh, and for the most part, he's, he was correct. Um, it's running fine right now, but every now and again it'll slow down. All of my settings for the different PSP games are uh, frame skip at 1. I'm using the OpenGL backend render. Whatever hacks are deemed safe by uh, PPSP, PPSSPP in the menu. And um, that's it, everything native re resolution. Um, having said that, it still looks amazingly good on this device. Um, let me get out of here. Let's go to the other God of War. Trains of Olympus. Uh, and this one you can kind of see it a little bit more that it's taxing. You can also hear it. Um, so the important thing to remember is that this is using the OpenGL backend. So when PPSSPP does have an experimental backend for Vulkan. When the emulator fully supports Vulkan and Intel comes out with one, which they the one of the developers have already said that it's coming, they just don't have a time frame, um, we're going to be in a much better position. And I know I say this a lot, it's almost like I'm a broken record at this point, um, but it really is going to be beneficial because Vulkan is like uh, DirectX 12, and DirectX 12 on Dolphin is a huge uh, help on on the GPD win. But more or less you can see, like, it, this is not really playable. You can play it. Uh, I wouldn't recommend playing it like that. Um, the good thing is that Tekken 7 it is completely fine. Um, as a fighting game, you're going to want it to be smooth, and this is. And I haven't played Tekken 3 since, uh, since Tekken since Tekken 3. Completely forgot how to use a label on. I was always a Paul fan. Label long I liked a lot too though, just because of his different stances. Nice. Uh, yeah, so Tekken 7 runs great. We can go ahead and skip that. So some of the games that were deemed like stress tests, more or less it's passing. Um, it's just one that um, Chains of Olympus. Ghost of Swarter runs okay. Chains of Olympus is no good. Someone said God Eater was a um, a stressful game, and I'm not seeing it at all because this thing runs like butter. I mean, the frame rate is ridiculous. It looks amazing on this device too. So... It's kind of crazy that the PSP's original LCD was so bad uh, that it made games that actually looked really friggin' good um, look bad. Or, you know, not bad, but not as good as this, because this looks ridiculously good. The display on the GP to win is really nice. Um, yeah, so God Eater, maybe it's further on in the settings. I'm just going around in there, and it's running a little bit too smooth. Um, this is a Valkyrie, Valkyrie 2. Let me just jump straight ahead. Uh, I haven't played one or anything. Yes, action points. I understand. I've un I understand that this game is quite quite good. At least the first one that was on Steam. But I don't own it. Um, having said that, uh, crouch target. Let's go for this guy. Uh, change weapon, how do I... Yeah. Nice. So, I mean, frame rate on this is excellent. Uh, what else did we have? Do, 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 do. Uh, Metal Gear is a little bit stressful. You'll see it uh, right here. The frame rate is pretty bad right now. Super bad. What is going on with the, the display? Fast forwarding is the best. 
use these controls up and down. I really don't like tutorials and games. Action button. Look right. Oh, because the PSP didn't have two analog sticks. Oh man, could you imagine having to sit through this entire tutorial? Honestly, tutorials make me not want to play a game. I don't know why I'd rather not play again than sit through this tutorial. I really don't want to sit through it right now. Anyway, the frame rate in this is not good. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, Monster Hunter 2. Again, this was said that it wasn't very good. Uh, and I disagree. It runs pretty dang good. So this is like smooth as butter. So yeah, if you were... Uh, I mean, for the most part, like m a lot of the games that I'm playing are running ridiculously good. And the few games that don't run super well are still playable. And additionally, when we do get Vulcan, it's not, it's not going to be even an issue, I don't think. I think, you know, as far as playing PSP on the GPD win is going to be an easy... <laughs> an easy win. Uh, anyway, that was the PSP compilation. Um, I just gonna, I'm going to do a follow-up video on the Dolphin stuff. So the Ghost Trick from NeoGaf had told me to use a PAL game. And honestly, I was aware of it, but I just forgot. Um, truthfully, I would have just called it quits. Um, but until he had said something, I was like, oh yeah, that's right. Let me, let me go ahead and do that. And it works great. So I'm going to make that video right now, and then uh, we'll have those videos done. And then after that, I have to do some old school PC stuff using like Voodoo um, emulation, Voodoo card emulation using PCM. Uh, and then I think I'm mostly caught up with all of the cr requests. Um, I still have PS2, but I can't really run make PS2 run all that well. Uh, I could try PAL games on PS2. Outside of that, uh, there's just Skyrim and some other stuff and indie games. I do have... what other game do I have? Uh, let's see, I have Ori in the Blind Forest right there, so we can try, give that a go in another one. Oh, Ilo Milo run, runs perfectly. That's just, I mean, maybe I'll just show you that real quick. Did like a little bonus video for the last two minutes of this thing. Let's, uh, scale out the screen. So, uh, I think it was last year... Two years ago, there was a sale on the Microsoft Store. I think Isla Milo was like $0.10. Cents, and I totally bought it for $0.10. Cents. I mean... All right, there we go. It was like signing in and stuff. just taking a while. I didn't want to be wasting time while we did that nonsense. Anyway, this is Isla Milo, which is an excellent game. It's kind of Sokoban-ish, if you're aware of Sokoban, uh, the Sokoban genre uh, for video games, like it's box moving, and more or less it's the same. Same idea, same principles. Uh, X, that guy over here. Boing! And so the idea is that you want to meet them together, and they're going to do a little dance. Hoo-ha! Hoo-ha-ha! And this runs perfect. So I, I bought this game a while ago. I do recommend it. Maybe it'll go on sale again. Uh, it was available as like a Windows phone game for a while, and then it came out to the Windows Store. And I don't think anyone actually knows that it exists, but it's it's a really good game. And now it works with the uh, gamepad, and you can have it just portable, so definitely pick it up. Anyway, that's that. Um, thanks so much for watching.